Gaffer, uh, two from two after the international break. Must have, must be really pleased. Yeah, really pleased. I think uh, performance had a had a bit of everything. Really, I think uh, played against a good opponent. Oxford were a good first half, um, and yeah, we limited them to to not too many chances. And then uh, at the moment, we're quite clinical. So um, yeah, really pleased. Really pleased with the game. Did the clean sheet please you just as much as obviously the two goals? Yeah, definitely. Even the clean sheet at Exeter. Um, yeah, that's a big thing we've been working on, really. I think uh, the large parts of the season so far, we've been very, very good attacking. We've maybe been less so defensively. So um, the last two games have been a big improvement. But yeah, let's not take the foot off the gas. Let's uh, let's go again uh, this weekend. The opener probably came against when I played, didn't it, really? But two of your three changes today, Liam Shaw holding off his man, feeding Teller, who obviously fed in Humps. You must have been pleased with how they all combined and Humps took the goal well. Yeah, I think the goal, the goal was... Uh, Kind of how I saw, or I wish I'd seen more of in the first half. Taylor getting in that position, Humphrey's been on that last line, but um, yeah, we could have done that even more. Um, but then you have to credit Oxford as well. They pressed us very well. They kept the ball for a long period. But um, yeah, Taylor was really good tonight. Uh, I gave him that sort of free roll from a central area, and um, yeah, he was good. And Stephen Humphreys is, uh, and Godo, uh, they're uh, they're a big threat. Whether we have the ball, whether we play counter attack, the two of them are very very. Uh, very dangerous at the moment. Is that the reason you obviously opted for Hunt to lead the line? Obviously, with, with the options we like you back and you know Langley off the bench as well. That counter attack, that pace out wide, direct nature of how he plays. Yeah, I think I wanted Stephen on that last line. It didn't happen as much maybe the first half. Um, really, the goal was what I wanted to see more of. We knew if we could get the ball inside to Liam or Baba, then we'd get one of the tens free. But um, yeah, we didn't play it enough. But the uh, second half was much better, much better in terms of without the ball. Uh, they were really, they had some really good, uh, they were good. They played through us a couple of times. The second half, we, we managed to stop that. And even the second half, we had um, we had some chances. Yeah, you touched on that. We seemed to retain the ball better, didn't we? We kept much more control. And um, I think Teller had a header early, early doors. Gold had a great chance. Keeper made a good save. And then obviously the goal came from Langer. Yeah, and then Josh Stones at the end uh, hit the bar. That was a bit more counter-attack. But um, yeah, I think... Once we got uh, a bit of a grip on, on what they were trying to do with the ball, um, sort of gave us a platform to then go and play. So uh, again, I want even more. So um, yeah, back to work tomorrow and we go again Saturday. But um, the last two games have been good, really good as a team. I've loved the impact of the players coming off the bench. Uh, it's making it really hard. Like I've had to leave Charlie White out of the team today. Um, he's been brilliant for me so far, but I have to show faith on the, the lads that went to Exeter. And, yeah, they've um, they were very good today. Just a quick word on Langley's first league goal this season and a great strike and, and a nice nice touching celebration with young Alfie who I know came to the training ground a few weeks ago. Yeah, it's uh, look we have we've got a sort of connection with the fans uh, and yeah we're trying to build that sort of community spirit again. But Langley deserved that. He worked extremely hard when he came on. He worked extremely hard at training on these uh, on free kicks. So um, yeah, really pleased for him. He's. He's gone through a frustrating time in terms of in front of goal. Uh, hopefully that will now kick him on um, and be the player that we know he is.